Hello and welcome to the ShareSale Affiliate Interface Training webinar series. My name is Jesse and I am with the Publisher Success Team here at ShareSale and today we will cover an overview of reports. Uh, while we will be covering a, a selection of ShareSale reporting, it is by no means the entirety of it. So I would recommend after you view this video, explore the reporting that we offer, and if you have any questions, please email us at shareasale at shareasale.com. That's shareasale at shareasale.com. So the first report we're going to cover is the Merchant Time Span Report. You'll view this report by going to Reports up at the top, and then click Merchant Time Span in the drop-down menu. Here, you will be able to filter by a specific merchant, change the date range, sort by commissions, sales, etc. And then once you're ready to view the report, you will click filter. As well, you'll see a chart up here at the top uh, with the basics of the report, uh, but to go more in depth, you will have to scroll down. As well, please note that you'll be able to view different columns by clicking Column Manager here and adding or subtracting columns that you would like to see in the report. You will see the Column Manager on many reports. As well, you can create a custom version of these reports that you can then access at any time. Next, we will go to the Today at a Glance. Here, once again, you will be able to change the date that you would like to see. You can sort the results by uh, hits, raw hits, merchant, etc. And once you click filter results, you will see the information shown there. As well, uh, up at the top, you will see these charts and graphs letting you compare today uh, to yesterday as well as your numbers from a week ago today. Next we will go to the traffic report. Here you will see all the traffic going through your share sale links. Again you can break it down by merchant and by date range. Once you're ready click filter results. When you scroll down you will see all of the clicks going through your links. Please note that this report is in unique hits, which is one click per IP address per day. As sometimes people will click your links multiple times, uh, this is going to give you an accurate reading of exactly how many people are clicking your links rather than how many clicks are going through your links. As well, on the left here, you'll be able to drill down by AFTRAC parameter and banner ID. Uh, so if you would like to see which banner IDs are performing better than others, you will click banner ID. And if you have set up an AFTRAC parameter to AB test a specific link, you'll be able to drill down by clicking on AFTRAC to see which version of the link is performing better. Next, we will go to the Merchant Summary Report by going to Reports and then Merchant Summary in the drop-down menu. Here you'll be able to sort this again by specific merchants, merchants with a specific metric, uh, or your status within their program, etc. When you scroll down along the left, you will see your status within the merchant's program, whether that is approved, declined, or pending. As well, you will be able to see some basic information regarding your performance within their program. Commissions this month, total commissions, clicks this month transactions this month, etc. Then on the right, you will see the merchant's name here, as well as uh, whether they are online or offline. You'll see their commission rate, a link to their Get Links page where you can find their creatives. And then here, you will see a contact button. When click, this contact button will open an email form that will go directly to the person in charge of their program. Should you have any questions regarding their program, we would recommend you reach out to the merchant directly. 
as they would be able to answer any questions regarding their commission rates or why your application may still be pending within their program. Once you've sent this, it will go directly to their email and any responses will go directly to your email. Now last for reports, we will go to the invalid links report. So you'll see on this report, any links that are no longer active or functioning uh, that have been clicked on your website or social media page. Uh, in most instances, the invalid link report will be because of a merchant going offline, which happens when their account balance goes to zero or into the negative. Uh, but it could also be that the link is broken or you may have copied and pasted the HTML incorrectly, and so the link isn't functioning properly. This is a great tool to let you know uh, which of your links need to be fixed and possibly which merchants need to be reached out to regarding their offline account. Thank you for joining us on this video. If you have any questions on the reporting, please let us know at shareasale at shareasale.com. Once again, that's shareasale at shareasale.com. Thank you and have a nice day.